flow of information. All churches can go to the Alabama Baptist State Congress of Christian Education website to register, and the Alabama State Missionary Baptist Convention Incorporated website to register for the Women's Convention. You may call the church to get additional information. The Dallas County Extension System, Alabama Cooperative Extension System, Dallas County Office looking for an expanded food and nutrition education program agent assistant. The position will be housed in the Dallas County Extension Office and be responsible for conducting nutrition education programs with limited resource participants in a group setting. The qualified applicant should possess knowledge of food and nutrition as it relates to providing Qualified applicants must have at least a high school diploma or equivalent and ideally have four years of related work experience. The applicant should also be a team leader with a community first service attitude. Details of the anticipated salary and other information can be received by going to the ACE website at www.aces.edu. If you'd like to get more information on that, you may also call the church. We continue to pray for all sick, shut-in, caregivers, our essential workers and first responders, those incarcerated, our bereaved families, educators, our students, our city, state, and nation, for we are all in need of prayer. This is our announcement. Our scripture shall be taken from Psalm number 121, the first two verses. Psalm number 121, the first two verses. And it reads thus: I will lift up my eyes unto the evil, from which cometh my hill.
we just voice to say thank you. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your amazing grace. Uh, we thank you for your mercy. Uh, we thank you for another privilege, another opportunity to just be in your house of worship. Ah, oh, to worship you one more time. We thank you. Thank you, Father. Giving us another day. And now, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. That it's all of you and none of me. Hide me behind your cross. Give me your word for your people. And now let the words of my heart and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your state of words. You are my strength. Yeah. And you are my redeemer. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all give God a hand in praise. Give God a hand in praise. Amen. Amen. I tell you, going on a year, some months, standing here preaching to the pews only. Y'all look good out there. to enter 
into the kingdom of heaven. This text is about what it takes to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's all this text is about. That's it. That's all this is about. Jesus goes about explaining this point by first sharing with us who will not get into heaven. Some people we hear always calling on the name of Jesus will not don't miss that will not get into heaven but some will many who we hear prophesy prophesizing in the name of Jesus will not get into heaven. But a few will. Many who cast out devils in the name of Jesus don't miss this y'all will not get into heaven. But a few we, men, that's what it says now, who did many wonderful works, many who are engaged in many ministries, will not get into heaven. But a few will. Then the question pops up. The question becomes who will and who will not. This text is about what it takes to enter into the kingdom of heaven and that's all this is about this is what we know about the situation up to this point we we know that Jesus made these statements in the closing this is the second part of his closing. There are three closes in here. We got to do one. We did one last Sunday. We got to do one now. And we got one more to do. But in this portion of the closing of his sermon on the mount, Jesus made these statements. And we know from Jesus' previous closing statement, the one we covered the previous Sunday, we, that we cannot tell. The difference between counterfeit and real believers. Right. Y'all remember that, don't you? We cannot tell the difference by looking at a prophet, looking at a preacher, looking at a teacher. We cannot tell uh, who is a counterfeit believer and a real believer by they look. No more can we tell by listening to what they say. We cannot even tell by watching what they do. The only way, the only way that you can tell that counterfeit 20 from a real 20, that counterfeit big head 100 from a real one, the only that real prophet from a counterfeit prophet, that real preacher from a counterfeit preacher, that real teacher from a counterfeit preacher is by observing the fruit they 
they produce. And that's the only way. That's, that's the only way. You, you have to observe the fruit they produce. And when we do that, we will be able to determine the difference. The difference will become clear. And I have to share it. How to identify false prophets, Jesus continues to close by explaining what it takes to enter. Somebody say to get into. To get into the kingdom of heaven. And, 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 and if you go with me now to the text, go with me now to the text. You know how we do we. We, 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 we preach the word by teaching the word. So come on. Go with me. Text uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. It says, Not, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because some of them are counterfeit. And, and some are real. Therefore, what, what we see, what we see is what what we say does not save us. See, you can call on the name of the Lord all you want to. Uh, you can sing Jesus, 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 all you want to. You, you, you can sing Savior, 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 all you want to, all day and all night. Some people calling on his name will not get into heaven. And some will. Then Jesus provides a, a general explanation as to why some will and some will not. He, he said, those who do it the will of the Father. Y'all get that? I want you to see that now. Those who do, you see that action word, those who do the will of the Father which is in heaven, will get in. Well, Pastor, sound like I got to do something. Hmm? To get in, it sound, doesn't it sound like we got to do something? Uh, yeah, we, we, we do it. And, and, and that is, uh, we simply must truly believe. That's all we got to do. We have to believe the word of God. Yes, sir. I want you to follow me on this now. Don't, don't lose. Don't, don't go to sleep. If you know, you're going to miss this. You, we, 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 you gotta, we have to truly believe the word of God. And that's all. all, right, all right. Somebody just say, Pastor, you're wrong. But watch this. I want you to stick with me. Now, 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 now because we're about to go deeper. We know the word of God confirms the divine existence of the word of God. Because John said, don't miss this, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. In other words, the word and the God were different, were the same, you know what I'm saying? There were two of them, the word was with God, and then it comes back and says, and the word was God. In other words, I'm trying to help this, so I'm trying to figure this out. The word was there with God, but the word at the same time was God. Right. That's right. Then he says, the same was in the beginning with God. In, in, in that particular phrase, this is a confirmation of Genesis 1.26. This is, this is, this is uh, John confirming that Genesis 1.26, where God said, let us make man in our image. John has confirmed that. And, and, and then, then in John chapter 1 verse 14, he gets a little deeper. Stick with me. He said, and the word was made flesh. And then that word that was flesh lived among us. And we actually saw him. We, 
beheld his glory. In other words, we recognized, we saw his brilliance, we saw his fame, the glory as, as only begotten of the Father, the glory that only the Father could have produced, full of grace. Full of grace. Yes, sir. And true. We know something else. We know that Jesus, because of what John just said, is the Word of God. All right. Y'all tracking me? Jesus is the Word of God in the flesh. And so the will of God is that we believe the Word of God, the, the will of God, I'm trying to help you, is that we believe Jesus, the, the, will, the will of God is that we believe Jesus, the will of God is that we believe the Word of God, and the Word of God is, y'all, y'all, come on, y'all, come on, I gotta say it again, because I didn't, enough didn't speak to me. The, the will of God is that we believe Jesus, and we, we know that Jesus is the Word of God. And so the will of God is, uh, is for us to believe the word of God because the word of God is Jesus. He wants us to believe his son. He wants us to believe Jesus. When we lift Jesus, when we talk about lifting up Jesus, we are talking about lifting up the word of God. And when we lift Jesus, he says that he will draw all men unto the word of God. I'm trying to help somebody here for well. He, 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 which is himself. We cannot and we should never attempt to separate the Word of God from Jesus. Because they are the same. Therefore, thus, the Word of God confirms the existence of Jesus. The Word is the testimony of the existence of Jesus. The will of God is that we believe this to be true. That we believe in Jesus because Jesus is his word in the flesh. I lost count of the number of times I've said that. Did anybody not get that? What it takes to enter into the kingdom of heaven is that we believe. That's what we got to do. This is why Jesus said, Some will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. And he said, And men would have prophesied in my name. And men would have cast out devils in my name. And men would have done many wonderful works in my name. But only a few of them are the real deed. Most are false. Most are counterfeit. Most are too self-righteous to have any heavenly benefit. And if you can't help me, Holy Ghost, be a benefit to the kingdom of heaven, you don't get That's so nice. 
I need to say it twice. Believing 
that we can enter into the kingdom of heaven. When truly sin, we are always sin. The question that each of us must wrestle with today is do I truly believe? That, that's the question. You know, you don't have to answer it for me, but you need to answer it within your own self. Do I truly believe? Because when you do this will of the Father, when we actually do what His will is for us to do, to truly believe, which is the Father in heaven's requirement for entering into His kingdom, He will save you. He, he does not fumble you. When you say you say you, you, you can't slip between his fingers. Uh, when Jesus catches you, you've been caught. And today, today, uh, only you and God knows the answer. Uh, is, yeah, is my salvation real? Uh, only God and you can answer is the confession of my faith real. Only you and God can answer. Do I truly regret my sins? Only God and you truly know the answer. Do I truly
He'll do it, I tell you, he'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. If you believe, if you believe, if you admit that you are a saved son, if you, if you believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, if you confess that with your mouth and you believe that in your heart, the word says, God shall be saved. Is that you decide to join the household of faith. And if you decide, if you decide right now that you want to make Ebenezer your church home, just raise your hand. Amen, somebody. Give God a hand praise. Oh, 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 oh,
praise today. We lift him up. We praise him. But we magnify his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Ebenezer, those who are visiting with us, whether congregations be you in cyber or present or in the parking lot or sitting on your porch. We thank you for visiting with us, being with us today. We pray that something has been said that will help you through this week. Our Bible studies on Wednesday, 5 o'clock. Please come on out. We have the same seating arrangements that you see here now. I will tell you Amen. 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 Usher, will you usher? 